Let's talk about three quick ways you can increase your Facebook conversions, click through rates, generate more leads, all stuff. These are just super quick things that I notice when I log into accounts who've been run by you know, ad managers that might not have the qualifications they should that you might have hired or you did it yourself. These things are super simple to do, super simple to notice, especially if you're working with somebody and if they didn't do these little things that you should know to either get rid of them or make sure they're done. A lot of times when we market, we're gonna market in a specific area, specific location. So when you when you log into your Facebook account, so you wanna come into, let's just pull up a, an ad here, uh, log into it and you click edit when you're in the ad sets. So once you're in the ad sets, after you've created the ad, you're gonna scroll down and so you notice in the audience where we are here we go locations this is a quick and easy thing to do is people living in this location that is normally one of the biggest things people forget to do they will check people living in or recently in this location the reason why you want people living in this location is typically that's where your audience is you don't want people traveling in some so, sometimes you do but majority of time if you have a local service business Obviously, you want people who live there and live around that area. If you're selling products, you want to target those people in those specific areas. Uh, so most times, this is always a little thing that you need to make sure is adjusted where it shows locations, people living in that location. And that will help dramatically increase your click-through rate and stuff. Maybe not dramatically, but it will improve it. And you don't want it to go to people that shouldn't be getting it. That's why... I, a lot of ad dollars are spent that are just being wasted. Uh, this is also applies to Google ads as well. You can do that in, in that. The other one is um, the ad placement. Where are your, where's your ad showing up? So if you scroll down a little bit more, not detailed targeting matters, all these things matter, but these are just three quick things that you can do to make sure. So instead of placements, most people, when they're doing their first Facebook ad, they don't know, they just go automatic placements recommended. This will get you to spend more money with Facebook, which obviously Facebook likes, but it will typically not get you as many leads or it will get you leads, but at a higher cost. And the goal about conversions is always driving your cost down to generate more leads, right? You wanna make more money, you wanna grow your business faster. What you do is you wanna take and go with manual placements. Sometimes this doesn't apply to dynamic retargeting ads and so forth. Retargeting ads are fine to go other, otherwise, but your initial first ad, typically you wanna do manual placements and turn everything off except for Facebook newsfeed and Instagram feed. I find this to be one of the most effective ways to get a better click-through rate, get to more people, get to your audience and all that other stuff. And like I said, there's more things when it comes to running Facebook ads as well as Google ads and other things that we can dive into, but this is not the video for that. The last thing is ad creative. So if I come out of my ad sets and I go into my ads, so I'm gonna check that box so I know that that specific ad is gonna come up and I'm gonna pull this ad up here. And this is another simple thing, but it does take a little bit more work is video ads typically outperform image ads. They also create more of a connection. So when, when you're talking about sales or promotions or any of that stuff, when you can create and connect with your audience more effectively, i.e. the best form of communication is when we're face to face and we're talking that's how sales and business originally started, but now we have the internet. So a video is the, the fastest way to do that besides a, a live uh, event online where you're actually face-to-face -face and connecting that way. But a video done right and done well will A, will help you track the, the number of people that watch, track the engagement to see. And the more, a lot of people say you need a quick video because of people's attention spans are low. The problem with that is Yes, they're low, but if you can create a great video that people watch longer, that's a higher percent of people that will probably buy your product or services. So engage them, create quality videos, because at the end of the day, they're gonna drive your click-through rate up, drive your sales, drive your, your leads. All those things are gonna get you more customers at a better cost. So again, just to recap, set the, the ad set locations, make sure living in this area, specifically uh, the ad placements, make sure you uncheck all those boxes and you just check those two manual feeds and then add creatives, make sure you do a video. 
Again, those are just three quick things that you can do to run more effective ads, save more money, and not give uh, Zuckerberg or Facebook uh, that hard-earned money that you're, you're working towards, as well as to get better conversions so then you can get faster sales and make a bigger profit. Hopefully that helps. Uh, I'm Scott White. Obviously, if you want help in generating um, more revenue, running Facebook ads, consulting from a business perspective, all that stuff, and, and growing your, your, your brand and your business more, you can reach out. You can find my website. You can apply all the, all those great things. Uh, otherwise, hopefully this was super helpful and I wish you the best. Uh, hit the like, subscribe bell if you want. Otherwise, you know, this is again more for me than it is more for you, but hopefully I'm helping people, whatever, right? Have a good time. Have a great life. Take care.